Welcome back, Saviors GH here. This is Let's Play number 6 for Eden Eternal. This is going to be a quick guide on the archive system and crafting in Eden Eternal. And why both are important. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game. Okay, so our topic for today is the archive. So let's check out the archive. Open up the bag. And as you can see over here, here's the archive over here. There it goes. So, I think I should start with... What is an archive? So basically, it's a system in the game. It's kind of like a storage wherein you can put your rare items on your archive and it's not gonna clutter your inventory bag spaces. So how about let's check out the daggers over here. For example, I, I got this rare dagger over here, this gold dagger. If you don't want to use it anymore, you can put it on your archive like this. Archive. And as you can see, it's now on the archive. So let's take it out again. You can also press this archive all over here if you don't if you're lazy putting it over here so there it goes archive basically helps you manage your rare items that you get from the game so what are the items that we can archive let's go to the appearance tab over here and as you can see we can also archive some of the cosmetics over here yes there's a lot of cosmetics in this game and you can archive them all nowadays the cosmetics are expensive but eventually it's all gonna be cheap because Whales are gonna be gambling and gambling on the crystal altar and it's gonna supply the game with endless amounts of cosmetics that you can buy for cheap and then you can archive. What else can we archive here? Of course the gold weapons over here and the shields. This is very useful for the shield because if you're a tanker, you're gonna need a few shields because shields in this game breaks really fast. And what else? We can also archive the armors, capes, and trophies. As you can see, I have a decent amount of trophies right now. I haven't really been farming because the game is crashing. Yeah, I know. There are some people that really hates this game, wants to see it fail. Well, anyway, what else can we archive over here? Mounts, pets, arcane box. The last time I played, I wasn't able to fill up this arcane box because this was added later on the game. I wasn't able to fill up all of this archiving before because this is a daunting task, guys, especially this cosmetics over here because you're going to wait for the crystal arthur to have that thing. Yeah, you get the point. But as much as possible, focus on the weapons. I'm gonna tell you later why. And as you can see over here, we can also archive other items. These are the legacy armors. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, if you haven't used the Eden 500k redeem code, use it because you're gonna get legacy armors like this. This items over here, legacy armors for level 30. You can use this at level 1. And it's gonna level up as you level up. And as you can see, it's only up to level 30. So, Eden 500k. To use the redeem code, open up the item all over here, then reward code, press redeem, and then enter Eden 500k. There it goes. Just send this, and they're gonna send you a box that contains legacy armors, and if I remember correctly, also a 20 slot bag, which is gonna be useful in this game. Okay, so let's go back to the archive. So why is it important to fill up the archive? It's because of this, collection points. Let's click it. And as you can see, let's go to the weapons. If you check the weapons, the first achievement over here will grant you physical attack increases by 518. So if you fill up the weapons over here, it will give you an additional physical attack, which is going to be very useful in the game, especially early on. Because, for example, look at my weapon over here. No, let's not check that out. How about this magical energy sword over here? Its P attack is 4,700. And an additional 518p attack is going to be very useful. So you're gonna be doing this. At least for me, I'm gonna be focusing on the weapons. And then, what else? If I remember correctly, body gear. The costumes. But I'm probably gonna delay the body gears because if I remember correctly, the body gears are the cosmetics, which is slightly difficult to fill up. So there it goes. It's very important to fill up the archive because you get stats from the archive. The only archive stat that I got is this other items over here, which add additional ways of two. <laughs> this is nothing. This is the other items over here, the legacy armors. As I've said, if you haven't used the Eden 500 game redeem code, you said because you're gonna get this and you get plus two to whiz. <laughs> okay, so going back to the daggers over here, as you can see, I only have one dagger because I don't really collect daggers over here. And if you check some of the items, some of the items can be crafted or obtained in a trial in the game, right? In a dungeon. The boss will drop it sometimes. But some of the items can only be crafted. Now you ask, how do you craft in this game? 
I don't know what happened because when I played, the game didn't teach me how to craft. Uh, fortunately, I already played this game. And before, the game will teach you how to craft in this game. But nowadays, it didn't teach me how to craft. Probably I'm progressing really fast. Okay, anyway, let me just show you how to craft. So to craft in this game, first, you gotta check out the guild bases. Just press G to open up your guild menu. I don't have a guild, so that's why this thing is popping out. If you have a guild, the thing that's gonna pop out is this fine town over here. This thing, this is what you're gonna see. If you wanna enter other guild bases, just press town over here and the other guilds will appear. As you can see, we got Asylum, F2P, Deity, Ice Claws, Warbound, Shadows, Destiny, Oni, all the guilds in the game. They're here if they have a base. So how about let's check out the whales over here. Let's say I wanna craft a dagger, right? And according to this, the whales got a dagger draftsman. Basically, this is the NPC that sells the blueprints for the daggers. So let's enter the whales base and buy a dagger blueprint. Okay, so let's look for the dagger draftsman over here. There it goes. Our character is now moving. I need a mount, man. <laughs> I think I archived my mount. Yeah. Okay, so there it goes. The dagger draftsman. Let's interact with that NPC. Open it up. And as you can see, the first blueprint is a fire crystal dagger. Let's check out the archive again. Weapon and daggers. And as you can see, the first dagger over here is the fire crystal dagger and I haven't crafted it. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to craft it and show it to you guys. So let's go buy this fire crystal dagger over here. And guys, you don't really need to craft this. If a friend of you has this dagger, you can just ask for one, especially if they created a few. I just don't know why would they do that. But anyway, we bought a fire crystal dagger. So to craft this, you need to find a famous forger. Open up the find town again. Click this town over here. And then let's see if the whales guild has a famous forger. Why famous forger? You can craft this on just a regular forger NPC. But the famous forger will give you a little bit of success rate. There it goes. This fallen guild over here got a famous forger. Let's enter this guild and then look for their famous forger. Let's see what's the success rate of that blueprint. There goes the famous forger. Crafting assignment. Chance of failure, negative 20%. That's why you're gonna need to craft with a famous forger. And as you can see, the success rate is 100%. But some of the higher level blueprints only have a success rate of 60% or 30%. That's the time you're gonna need the Corona Essence. If you've been seeing the reward, the login rewards over here, some of them gives you Corona Essence. This is very helpful because the Corona Essence is the item that increases the success rate of forging. But thankfully right now, the thing that we're crafting is 100%, so we don't need it. The only thing that we need is a raw copper and pure crystal. So where do you get this? You get this from the mining NPCs from this Eden bases. Let's see if this guild got a mining NPC. Uh, no, they don't have it. So let's open up the guild menu. Click down. Let's see if the whales got mineral scholars. Yep, I think this is the mining NPC. So let's go over there. Let's see if it's selling the items that we need. Mineral scholars. There it goes. Okay, there goes the mineral scholar. Let's interact with the NPC. Open it up and see if it's selling raw copper and pure crystal. Okay, there goes the pure crystal. It gives three pieces. So let's buy how many we need. Six pieces. So how about let's buy three pieces just to make sure we got the stuff. And yeah, guys, when you buy this, you're also going to need another NPC, a mining NPC, where you put these papers over here. This is kind of like an order wherein you're going to give it to that NPC. And they're gonna try to get the items says over here. It's not 100%. Sometimes it doesn't give you what's written over there. So it's helpful to buy a little bit more than what you need. Okay, so we got the pure crystal. So we need raw copper. Okay, so it doesn't sell any raw copper. Okay, I remember the raw copper is a low level type of mineral item. There's another way to get those. And it's in a van. The lower, really low level type of Farming materials or like mining, farming materials are located in a vent. So let's go to a vent and buy that raw copper. This is only for low level items, guys. You only buy from a vent if you're gonna require the lower level mining items. As you can see over here, I think this one is for the armors and this one is for the weapons. This is the basic famous forger. As much as possible, use the famous forger. But since the item that we're crafting is 100%, I think we don't need the famous forger. Okay, here goes the mineral merchant over here in Aven. Just interact with this. 
And as you can see, this order over here can give me raw copper. How many raw copper that we need? 20. So how about let's get 3 to ensure that we get a little bit more than we want. So as you can see over here, there's a miner over here. This is the NPC that I was talking about. You give the orders, the papers. You give these papers to this guy and he's gonna try to get the items that you need. It's usually gonna take 20 minutes. So yeah, you can also use the Eden bases over here. Like for example, in the whales. Is there... Okay, where is that mineral NPC? Man, I can't see it. It's too many NPCs. Okay, there's Sabios del Camino over here. They got a miner. And when you use this, you get an extra output of two units. So instead of getting 10 raw copper, you're gonna get 12 raw copper. So how about let's try this. If you do it over here, you're only gonna get 10. So... Let's go try the NPC of these guys over here. Open up the map and let's look for the miners. And there goes the miners over here. There's also a trainee miner. As you can see, this miner over here gives plus two output. So how about let's interact with this trainee miner. As you can see, this is just the basic. Don't use this as much as possible. Use this miners plus two output. So let's put this over here. And as you can see, you're gonna pay. For them to do these orders over here. So request. Request three times because we have three papers over here. Put this over here because we got three of these raw copper orders. Request, request, request. And as you can see, it's about 20 minutes. You're gonna need to wait 20 minutes before they get the items that you need. So I'm gonna pause this recording because I'm gonna have to wait for this. See you guys in a bit. Okay, so our commissions are done. Let's receive the items. We're receiving all of the items. As you can see. Instead of 3, we're getting 5 pure crystals. Confirm. How about this raw copper? 12 raw copper. Nice. Get them all. Why can't I receive this? Man, I think it's bugged. Okay, let's close this. Open it again. Receive. Confirm. Okay, so now let's craft this fire crystal dagger. Let's look for a famous forger. Go to the town. How about this town? Does this town has a famous forger? Okay, there it goes. Where's your famous forger? There goes the famous forger. Let's craft the dagger. Crafting is very important in this game, guys. I think I forgot to tell you that there's also achievements in this game, which gives stats. But first, let's craft this. 100% fire crystal dagger request. Man, I'm, I have a phobia of this crafting over here because there are items in here that are 90% success rate and it would fail. Not just once, not twice, but three times. Straight failure. Man, that's very traumatic. <laughs> okay, anyway, we crafted the dagger over here. Let's try archiving it. There it goes. Let's go to the daggers. As you can see, now I've archived this fire crystal dagger. So just craft all of this and eventually you're gonna get extra P attack. But of course, if you're an engineer or a blade dancer, focus on the weapon that you're using because of achievements. When you're crafting in this game, doing stuff, you also get achievements, guys. Okay, let me show you achievement over here. And as you can see, there are legendary achievements over here. And some of them give stats if you get them. As you can see, this one over here acquired level 1 to 30 trophies. So if you acquired all of those trophies, you're gonna get an extra 500 HP. So it's important to get all of those trophies so you can get this legendary achievement there are more over here some of them gives luck for example if you collected the summoning resources all of them level 1 to 30 you're gonna get an extra 3% luck this one over here is really nice if you collected the level 1 to 30 mining resources you're gonna get extra strength and agi plus 3% you guys get the point some of them gives move speed some of them gives critical okay some of them gives p attack okay like for example, if you crafted the orange bow in here, this legendary achievement will give you extra 5% of P attack and M attack. So there it goes, achievement. Crafting is very important in this game. The crafting and the archive, they're linked together. Basically, if you archive and you craft, you're gonna get stronger. I hope you learned something. And that's it for now, guys. By the way, what kind of content you guys wanna see for Eden Eternal? Tell me in the comments. And as always, leave a like. And this is... Give me hardcore. See you in the next one.